In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for ALN. This is aluminum nitride. So first let's write AL for aluminum and then N for nitrogen. Aluminum, that's a metal. Nitrogen is a nonmetal. So we're going to consider this an ionic compound. And because of that, the electrons will be transferred from the metal to the nonmetal. The valence electrons will transfer from the metal to the nonmetal. So aluminum, that's in group 13, sometimes called 3A, three valence electrons. Nitrogen is in group 15, sometimes called 5A. It has five valence electrons. So since we have an ionic compound, the metal transfers electrons to the nonmetal, to here, here, and we put them in pairs. And now nitrogen, that has an octet. So it has eight valence electrons, very stable. Since the nitrogen gained three electrons, electrons are negative, it has a three minus ionic charge. The aluminum, that'll be three plus. We should draw brackets around the nitrogen to show that the electrons were transferred from the aluminum to the nitrogen. You'll often see brackets around the metal as well. So this is the Lewis structure for aluminum nitride. We have this positive aluminum ion here and then the nitride ion and the positive and negative are attracted. That's what forms our ionic bond. If you had solid ALN, aluminum nitride, you'd have a crystal of these repeating formula units. But this is useful to show us how the electrons are transferred from the aluminum to the nitrogen to give us ALN. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for aluminum nitride. Thanks for watching.